stereo vision the concept of stereo vision is uh, if i have two eyes and i will be looking for an object here using these two eyes i should be able to extract the 3d description of this particular object so if i have two viewpoints and uh, we will uh, explain techniques about how to ex uh, to basically uh, look at this uh, point so basically if i look at these two circles here for example and i would say i will see in the first eye a, a frame like that and then in the second eye i will look at frame like that and then i will see here um, a small circle and a bigger circle while here i will have a small circle and bigger circle the principle is if i know this line compared to the edge and i know this line compared to the blue edge for example if i know that if i know the blue the blue distance over the green distance i should be able to extract the three di the third dimension and in this case i can demonstrate a third a three dimension object using two different uh, 2d images so we call it a stereo vision because basically I can have a binocular and the binocular if you understand how it operates you have two eyes and then this binocular you'll be able to form in the brain of the viewer one only one image. So in this particular uh, session we will, we will describe a few ideas about stereo vision. As I always say, it's also available in a podcast and you should be able to go to the podcast link and download it. So if you are concerned about using so much bandwidth to see the video, you can stop the video now. You can download the podcast, you can download the, the PDF file and then you can, uh, with the PDF, understand and follow the instructions. This video is subject to copyright only. To maximize the use of this session, please connect a headphone and mic if you can. Stay in a quiet place. Adjust the sound of your computer. Close all other programs running on your computer. The instructor will direct you to open any other required program to use. Close chat programs and social media such as Facebook, Twitters, Messengers, WhatsApp, etc. Maximize your screen to see the four corners on this slide on your screen. So if I want to look at this particular image, you will be able to see two things. You'll be able to see the blue lines and the red line. The blue lines and the red lines are showing two different eyes. So imagine you have the right hand side eye will be looking at the red and the blue, uh, the left hand side eye will be looking at the blue. And the ones in the white, it means you have an overlap. So for example here, if I look at the background here, you can see the red and then the blue here to the right hand side. Means one single view, it's the red, and when it overlap with the blue, it gets you the white view, which demonstrates that not the black is something similar, which demonstrates that not all, uh, not all, uh, uh, edges will be able to give you the uh, dimension so if i have this view i should be able to to predict the three uh, space the 3d space so if i want to look here at the definition the definition is very straightforward is uh, basically given two images from different viewpoints how can i compute the depth of each point of the edges based on how much pixel moves between the two frames. So if I have two different points here and then I have one object here. So I will have, let's say I have this object in front of me. And um, um, if I wanna see, if I wanna look at this object, um, um, if I have one Blue, blue image and one green image which shows the difference basically there is a difference between the two uh, the two uh, focal point or the two location 
which demonstrates that also if I have a viewpoint from here and then I have a few a viewpoint from here or if I have a view a few a viewpoint from here and another viewpoint from the back any of this combination of these colors will be able to get you a 3d representation of the same object so don't um, get yourself into the dimensions I'm explaining I'm just talking about specific the uh, technique we will show in a few minutes however the concept is if I have two different um, images and I know the shift or the movement between the images can I extract the 3d out of it so this is our uh, images um, have been captured by pure um, horizontal translation or an images which basically um, sorry uh, uh, I have uh, uh, an images which basically shifted and the difference between this point from the image to the, the imager to the right hand side and the, and the, the imager to the left hand side and this is the imager to the right hand side the difference of that we call it the disparity of a pixel and we'll show you how this dis the disparity will, will take a role in how